Technology over time is getting faster and more portable, and the current technological trend is cloud computing. We're making software available on the web so that it doesn't have to be installed and can be accessed anywhere. If you want more information on web apps or cloud computing, be sure to check out these tutorials that I've done previously. Now Microsoft is starting to get on the bandwagon by offering a full version of Microsoft Office Online so that you can create and edit documents without having to buy or install anything. Though Microsoft hasn't released it publicly yet, I'll show you one way to get a free pass to check it out. But let me warn you that this is currently beta software and it's for testing only, so there are still a lot of kinks to work out. I don't see this as practical yet, but if you're in desperate need of Microsoft Office, this is a good tip to have. This beta version of Office Online, you can only work with Excel and PowerPoint files, so if you want to test this out, make sure you have one or the other available to you. The first thing you want to do is open up a web browser and go to skydrive.live.com, which is Windows online file storage system. If you're not familiar with SkyDrive, it gives you about 25 gigabytes of free online storage. Now to continue, you'll need a Windows Live ID. If you don't have one, just sign up for a free account, otherwise just go ahead and sign in. Once you're logged in, click on My Documents and then click on Why Not Add Some Files. Then browse your computer for Excel or PowerPoint files and then click Upload. Once they've uploaded, click on Join our Preview Program and then click Accept to accept the service agreement. Now click on the document that you want to open and click View. Then click the Edit button to open it up in Microsoft Office Online. If you see this error, then that means that the file you're trying to view was made in a version of Office prior to Office 2007. To fix it, click on the Office logo and select Save a Copy. This will save it as the correct format. Now click on My Documents at the top of the page and hold your mouse over the Excel icons until you see the one that ends in .xlsx and then open it. Then click Edit to open it up in Microsoft Office Online. Now you can edit and view it as if you had Microsoft Excel installed directly on your computer. If you have PowerPoint files, you can do the same thing just by following the same steps. If you want to create a new file, just click on the Office logo and save your current file as something different, then clear out all the data and start over. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.